hello, here we are. <laughs> Welcome to Coffee Talk. My name is Alex and welcome to my first video on my channel, Over Times. Um, this is a game that I've wanted to play for a while. It has been sitting in my library for quite a while. And it's been released quite a long time ago. It was released in 2020. And it is an Indonesian game, I believe. At least the company that made it is based in Indonesia. And I am absolutely ready for this. Because first of all, look at this. The pixel art, it's amazing. I love pixel art so much. But also, this is a game about a fantasy world with fantasy creatures and you pretty much just listen to their stories and make coffee for them. And I thought, hey, that would make an excellent, relaxing let's play. So we're gonna do this. Alright, press the key. As you can see, I've already made one profile to kind of test the game. I only played through the first day. And yeah, I think that's pretty much how I will divide these episodes. I will make one episode per in-game day. I will, tr I will try to get these out weekly. I hope I can manage that. It should work. Alright, let's get started. New profile. And my name is... Alex. That is my name. Yes, that is correct. Oh man. I love the art so much. It looks so sweet. Oh yeah, as you can see, uh, the second episode is already out. Um, I'll see how I like this game in general, and maybe we can make a let's play on this second episode too. But for now, let's get right into it. Oh wait, first I think I'll turn down the music just a Oh god. I'll turn down the music just a little bit. too quiet or is that just right you know what I, I think I like it like that if it's too quiet I'll just put it up a little in post oh no now the sounds are way too <laughs> all right let's fix that oh god why did they add that sound to that I don't know. Is the music... <sighs> I'll just turn everything down a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm just really sensitive to sounds. Yeah. I think... I think this can work. I think this should work. Alright. Now let's get into it. A game by Toge Productions. Seattle, 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races, oh god, is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. I did not expect that turn. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. 
when the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them, making a joke on that, as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. I love the world building so much, I love this. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping, a place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Oh my god, I'm so ready. Oh, the ambience. Oh, it's the name of our shop. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Man. Oh, by the way, I have some hot chocolate right here to get into the mood. Put some coffee and some spices into it. It is delicious. I am so cozy right now. Love this. Oh, hello. Welcome. Oh, it's you. Hey, Alex. How's the night so far? It's calm, as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. That's rough, buddy. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So, I'm used to taking things slow. Oh, I feel that, dude. Ah, writer's block again. You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Oh. Ah. Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? That is, out of context, a really strange thing to hear from a customer as a barista, isn't it? Anyway. I really need that triple shot espresso. Oh, we're getting into the coffee making. Okay, but let me check what you just said. My phone. This is... Alright, let's check this out real quick. Tomodachi. Oh, it's like... It's like Facebook. But they actually made... Oh, I like that. Tomodachi, that's a fun name. So this is Freya. This is our first customer of the night. Right. Writer for the evening whispers, talks about mundane things, art and life in general. Friends only. Close friends only. Okay. Does that mean I am close friends or does that mean this is stuff that gets unlocked when we are close friends? Because I feel like we are already friends. Seems like it. Who's this? Georgie? I'm guessing this is pronounced Georgie. Friends only coffee. Okay, I think this is stuff that gets unlocked when we befriend them. And Gala. Oh my. <laughs> it's a cat dude. I like that. Okay, and we have the brew pad. Oh yeah. So this shows us how to make all the drinks. Oh, and there's so much to discover. I love that. I love that. Okay. So, 
espresso. Triple shot. I'm guessing this is the right one. Blacker than a moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. That is the coolest description I've ever heard of espresso in my life. Alright. Let's go for it. Okay, coffee. Coffee again. And coffee again. And we brew. Trash it. No, we do, we'll serve it, yes. That was amazing. I love that. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Mmm, that aroma. Slurp. Reminds me, I'll slurp too. One second, please. Damn, this is delicious. Ah, exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. It always does, doesn't it? At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. I have no idea if that is how you pronounce that word. I have never seen that before. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god, did she quit her job? Oh no, Freya. Uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. Oh no. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? Uh, GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So, when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well... I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So, naturally, I pitched my book idea. It is literally an elevator pitch. Amazing. Don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So, how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So, he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strength. Uh, strings. In a month. For a draft. I don't know. I had I had trouble writing an essay in a month. I don't know if a whole novel. Oof. And get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. Oh, that's dangerous. And I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh. <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well... It was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. 
That is a terrible idea. Don't do that. Of, of course the initial draft is gonna be bad. That's why you gotta work on it. Don't delete everything. No, Freya. <sighs> so, zero. Ugh. Yes. I really need to fi finish it in at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know? Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. One second, let me take another sip. Who's coming? Oh my, hello. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's why I got it right here. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please. All right, well, you see, we've got just the thing for that. I saw it right here, dark chocolate. A warm and calming darkness. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. That is correct. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. That's all you need. Nothing better than that. Anything. Oh, I love how everything has its own little composition over here. Serve it. Hope you like it. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. Still. It's so warm. Yeah, mine is starting to get cold, actually. I have to drink faster. So, you're awaiting your boyfriend? Uh, you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business, having the coffee shop only open at night? Yeah, I, I gotta say, wouldn't it make more sense to at least have it open in the morning? You know, when everyone goes to get their coffee. So I guess everyone's pressed for time in the morning and you can't listen to stories, so... Yeah. Hmm, let's see, maybe we'll find out. Definitely not! <laughs> Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That is true. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. But how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? That's a secret. Alex here is damn rich. That's the secret. I am? Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Alex can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. Another sip. Oh, damn, that was good. Alright, it's empty. 
No more sis. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up! <laughs> wow, that's really interesting. Ray, be proud of yourself. Be proud of your work. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Oh, is it the boyfriend? Yes, it seems like it. Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? He's an elf, isn't he? Looks like an elf. I like the green accents. Really wood elfy. Nice. Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Yeah, that's a little too broad, I think. Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Whoosh. Something bitter to keep me awake, with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on top. Oh god, oh god, okay, uh, latte art. Um, something with milk, let's see. Cappuccino, yeah, I can do some latte art on that, okay. Italian delight. Let's make a cappuccino and let's try to do latte art. Coffee, coffee, and milk. Brew. Okay, let's see how this goes. Latte art. Okay. Um. Okay, I can. I can turn it. That's good. Pour milk. How does this work? Okay, this looks like trash. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, this ain't working out, is it? <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's edge. Maybe we can save it. Um, Rorschach test. What do you see in this? <laughs> okay. Uh, how do I... Um, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> uh, uh, let's, just, let's just make some lines. Maybe we can make it look intentional. We we can't, but <laughs> all right. Let's just try ourselves out. Maybe we'll get better with time. See, this looks this looks great. This looks like this looks like the latte art I make in real life. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I can. Wait, can I reset? I can reset. Okay, let let's try again. Maybe we can. We, we just need enough tries. We can, I can, I can do this, come on. Uh -huh. Okay, this is, okay. Still doesn't look good, but you know what? I'm learning. Edge. Uh, if I do this, and then I maybe, I don't know. This is not working the way I would like it to, but um, okay. Yeah, this is not working out. It looks like a dress. <laughs> what am I doing here? Okay, just just take the dress. Okay, just just take the dress, please. Here you go. Oh God. Here's your order. <laughs> Is this what you call latte? I don't, 
Don't say that. Do you know how much anxiety I had over that? Dude. I'm suffering here. It's okay. I'll learn how to figure it out. I can do this eventually. Okay. Just... Oh, okay, that's... Uh, that's cute. Ugh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. That's at least a compliment. Thank you. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi Lua, hi Baileys. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Alex. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. Nice! I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep. He's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. <laughs> but I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? Oh boy. I mean, I've personally never had to deal with retail customers, but I, I know it gets bad. I know that. I know someone who works as a designer and illustrator, too, and yeah, it's uh, it's oof. the only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. No, nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Not as good as your coffee making skill, though. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Good to know I can beat people's asses. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So, I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. It's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Bye, Freya. Have a nice writing session. Should we move to other seats, too? No. Here is good. Okay, then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? <laughs> Me and Brad Bills. Well, she fits all the bills. 
I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. We should make a meme about her. <laughs> and lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. We should ask Alex here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh, yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods. That sounds ominous. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's a good lesson. That's one good lesson to learn for the day. You're not gonna pick it up? Hmm? Your parents? Oh boy. Yes. Oh no. Parent issues. So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. They won't give us a chance at all. Oh no! Is it a Romeo and Juliet romance? Oh no. Anyone but an elf. Oh, that's bullshit. That's what they said. How about you? <laughs> More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Ferron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know? They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Forget it. No, Baileys. Uh, she kinda has a right to know that. I mean, I'm a strong advocate that even if someone says stuff that you don't want to repeat, like, they have a right to know about it. I want to know. Yep. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. About how even if I outlive you. Oh no. What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. Oh, Jesus. That is... Oh. That's exactly what they said. Damn, they're... Some heavy stuff right off the bat. Damn. So, this is it, then. The end of our relationship. No, you can't end it like that. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know? We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You lose your immortality. 
If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. Oh. I don't mind a bit. The romance. Hitting me with the romance, that is not fair. Oh. You're making this hard for the both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. Oh. Come on. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait. Oh no. I'm so sorry, dude. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. <sighs> That's alright. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. Eh, I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? <laughs> Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. Oh yeah, we're gonna make... We're gonna make a matcha latte. Or a green tea latte. Both sweet and savory with a hint of bitterness for the heart. Don't say that right after hitting me with the forbidden romance trope. Oh, okay, green tea and milk and milk. Ugh. Some green stuff for the green dude. Let's try again with the latte art. I'll be honest, I just have I have no idea how this is supposed to work. I just... Oh! Oh, we're getting somewhere! Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> it was this easy the whole time, okay. Can I make a leaf? Ooh, I love it! Nah, let's, let's not ruin it. We'll just add little dots around here. Damn, second try and I already made something... A lot better than before. <laughs> okay. Let's have it. Some green tea latte for the green dude. It's good for the soul. This is good. Thank you for this. You're welcome. It's kind of my job. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? Do we? I love this coffee shop. <laughs> that's an answer. <laughs> but I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all people in the world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. Exactly. You can if you try hard enough. At least, that's what my old man said. Well, I'm sorry, but your old man is full of bullshit. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Yeah, that's kind of the trope, isn't it? Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. Oh boy, we're getting into it now. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Yeah, don't do that. Anyway, I need to go now and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. Bye, Baileys. Good luck. <laughs> you can't just pop in with your emotions I mean I know we're both shook up but damn ah, 
for you. You were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop after, up after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay. You have a good night then. You too. Bye, Freya. Lemony snippet, a fortune tale in a cup. What do we have there? I want to learn. I, <coughs> I want to learn more about this drink. That sounds really interesting. Is it the next day? Wednesday, September twenty third, twenty twenty. It is the next day. <sighs> okay. I think we'll end this first episode here. What an amazing start. Yeah. I love that they didn't make like a whole day just full of tutorials, but they went into the stories right away. I think that's really interesting. I feel like we're gonna hear a lot of different tales from the creatures in this world. To set it up with a forbidden romance right away. Oh man. Uh, I want to know how it keeps going. <laughs> I hope you liked this. I really liked it. I really like this game so far. And as I said, I only played the first day and I did not remember much about it. So from now on, we're pretty much gonna be blind into the Let's Play. And I hope I will see you again next episode for the second day. And yeah, I hope we can do this weekly. I hope I can pull that off. Have a wonderful time. I will see you for the next day. Goodbye. <laughs>